my hot seat. Friday Night Flies. No Welcome lives. back. Friday Night Flies. I'm bold. We're going to tie a fly. Another fly. Another fly. A Another very recipe for the weekend. Um, yeah. The guys were playing with mylar tubing a while ago. A couple weeks ago. Yeah, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, we remember I now. really haven't played with it very much. <laughs> we're going to come back. Um, <laughs> so I went and bought myself some. And I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm not going to try some. And this is a fly that I've seen all over the internet. It's, you know, whenever you put up a picture or Google salmon fry patterns, this one always seems to come up. So um, it seemed kind of simple. I figured it out pretty quickly and uh, figured I'd just give Do it, it a go. Yeah. Do it. So that's about it. Um, personally, haven't fished it. Heard mixed rumors on this style of fly, but uh, a lot of people swear by it. So a lot of people. It's 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 more the. Uh, hey, sure. Do you want to put that back right back on? It's more uh, for us to show you how to use mylar tubing if you've never used it before. Don't um, worry, we're gonna come back. Uh, I'm gonna no. retie my my uh, explosion no. of a fly every few yep. weeks ago. I haven't recovered <laughs> quite yet from. Right on. The whole adventure that it was. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, if we go down, we'll uh, give you a quick little spin on uh, what this fly is, and uh, then we'll get at her. We're there. We're there. All right. So, and Sean Mooney is not here yet. That's what it looks like. So, we've used mylar tubing, um, UV uh, clear finishing, whatever they call it, fly finish, thick. Um, for the head with some eyes in there, you got your little your yolk sack on the on the fry and like if you've read the description this this fry is very good for cutthroats. Cutthroats are really good for noodle patterns. Um, but it's a very vulnerable time in the fish life in this stage. So we're gonna tie one. I'm gonna get my hook out here. So I believe um, I have a size uh, Four octopus hook. Getting on there. What are we doing? We're putting the hook in a vice. Looks good. Yeah. Looks like yeah. a hook in a vice. Right on. Then uh, we've achieved goal number one. <laughs> Time to Actually, that off the to-do list. There. We're not even doing the hook in the vice first. First, That's you a need <laughs> a pin. We gotta we gotta tie the tail of this mylar tubing first. So. Are you hitting home? You're going to need to find yourself we'll a, a pin, which you're going to put into your vise. Go We're going to take our you mylar know? tubing here. We're going to cut oh, off a, uh, about a one and a half inch I'm section. Go, uh, some sound on yeah. I'm going to go so we have our section of mylar tubing. On the inside Good. is a uh, is a piece of rope. We want to uh, remove it. We want to remove. So that's garbage. Don't need that. We take our pin, put it through the middle, put the pin in the vise, take our thread, and I'm just going to section off a section for the tail. So I'm going to tie that in tight as I can to that thread. It is going to spin around and move on you. No big deal. Wrap this tag end around my bobbin. All right. Okay. So I can get rid of this part. Yeah. Yeah. Those are some sharp scissors you got there. Yeah, I don't know what they were. Sponge oh. scissors. That's, that's exactly <laughs> where I got them. No, it's not. That oh, is. That's not even the scissors we sell. Yes, they are. You guys are trying to burn me. So, sabotage me on my own. See you, big guy. Oh, and it all There, that bed. serves you right. It serves me right, eh? All right. So, let's get this in there again. So, Scott, oh. number one has left us. Has left the building. It's just you and me. Just me and you, Scotty, number two. Does that suck being called Scotty number two? Well, he's way older. And you're way better looking, so I mean, that coming from another man, that's okay. I'm I'm, I'm easy with that. <laughs> I'm all right with Scotty number two. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. So, just doing a bunch of overhead knots here. That one's not going to come undone on us. Oh, dude. A float tank. Does it work? I haven't tried it on a fish pump. Where's my other scissors? I don't know what I've done to my 
my good scissors, but so you they ain't good on anymore. One end, right? All right, so on one end, and then you just and then you, and, and then you just drop the fly down so on a piece of this line. That's what we got here. Okay. I'm gonna take it out of the vise, get rid of our pin, too long, and it? so now you can see that we have our our, our body form with the tail. Yeah, yeah. it's probably a little bit long. Now I'm yeah. gonna go back. You can get this octopus in here. Yeah, no, so you can pretty cool, eh? That's bad. And uh, what I was using there was uh, a pearl-colored UV yeah, ultra thread. Yeah, I thought I might use white or anything else, but um, that blends Remember, right into that do not tail. Use the wood. <laughs> so next thing I'm going to be doing here yeah. is tying Just in either it. a black or a green or a olive thread for the for the rest of the fly. So I've tied in. I'm gonna wrap back uh, maybe just one third of the way. Not very, not very much. And we're going to make the uh, yolk sac. So orange is a better color. I couldn't find my orange. I know I have it somewhere, but red does uh, just as well. And I'm gonna get myself a little section of this. So this I know what I did with my why my scissors are dull because I cut this stuff with it. Use your crappy scissors for that. So this is a synthetic marabou. Um, so I got another pair of scissors. <laughs> I'm going to have to buy another pair of scissors. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use your good scissors because that stuff kills it. So I got myself a little, little plume and I'm going to tie it in on the underside. And get it right back to where the griffins are good. They're uh, they're Japanese steel. There you go. Is that the pair that you got right now, the griffins? No, those are those dragons. I think here. No, these these other ones are Doctor Slick. Doctor Slick. All right, so we've tied it all the way back in. And what we're gonna do is make this yolk sack. So we're just gonna. Fold it over and okay, around we like a this. Question from Mr. Sean Mooney. Hey, Sean, how are you doing? Okay. The question is, what are you guys doing, and where's Kara? Well, sorry to tell you, Kara is off for the long weekend. It's a long weekend up here in Canada, and I believe she's off riding her Harley Davidson with her husband somewhere. And uh, what are we tying again tonight? We're tying a egg sack fry. Yeah, with mylar tubing. With mylar tubing. So that's our that's our egg sack right there. A bunch of little strayways I'm gonna get rid of. Next, we take our mylar tubing that we've created the tail with, and I'm gonna tie this onto the top. Pretty simple. A nice loose. So once I get the loose wrap in there, I just pull it back so that all these. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so that all these fibers are away from the eye of the hook, then I, that way I don't have any trimming to do. And then I tie this in real nice and secure like. Give it a whip finish or half clinch, whatever you got. And I just snap my thread once again. On fire. On fire. That's all right. Saved it. Bunk. All right. So the last thing that we got to do is just build our head using the UV and stick our eyes on there. And that's a finished fly. The more you fuss around with the UV, uh, with the mylar tubing, uh, which we found out a couple of weeks it's ago. It's going to just explode on you. It deteriorates pretty yeah. quickly. Don't play with it. I haven't used my UV in a while, so it's, it's kind of sticking nice. in the chamber. So I'm going to get some on top, underneath, and around. Let's just roll this around so it. Kind of sets in before I cure it. Move the bubbles. There you go. It's pretty even. Let's give her a cure. So 
It's crazy how quick that stuff sets, eh? Yeah, it's so nice. It's awesome. All right. Throw some eyes on it before I do my second coat of uh, Loon UV. So these eyes don't always stick that fantastically to the UV. Don't worry about it. Just trying to tack them on there so that they stay. Oh, come on. Doesn't help that my hands are sticky from unclogging my UV resin. What do you do? Just push a pin through it or something? Yeah, over and over and over. It was actually, and then I had to dig out the inside a little bit. So the uh, yeah, the UV bottle is not UV impenetrable. Well, yeah. Where the hell were you? You're outside, tying in the sunlight again? Oh uh, no, I have all my stuff in a breakfast nook in my house. Oh, there's a lot of light that comes through, and basically this green cap is the only thing where the light. Gets through, get so it all clogged in there. Yeah, they didn't really think that through, did they? Yeah. So we got our eyes on. Put a nice glob of UV right between them. And then what I like to do is just drag it right over top of those eyes. Glob underneath. Drag it over the eyes. And then we'll do like what we did before and rotate it around and let it self adjust. Maybe we'll just encourage it a little bit here. Pretty fresh, boy. So, the guys that do epoxy, they'll be really good at this. Oh, yeah. Where's my pin gone? So, I'm just getting this. Where did I put that pin? Please, bear. there it is. All right, so it's going to help maneuver these eyes a little. There we go. So this is the time where you can fix anything up because you haven't cured it yet. Get this material moving around proper. It's looking good. Boom. Cure, 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 cure. That's amazing. So that's your basic uh, mylar tubing minnow. Okay. Sean, uh, sorry. Sean Mooney says, get a long hypodermic cap and color it black, and you won't have that problem anymore. That's a great idea. Hypo hypodermic dermic cap. cap. That's what you're looking for. i got to find me one of those. Thank you, Sean. Um, little things that I've seen people do with these, since this is a very kind of plain fly is you take your sharpies or whatnot and uh, you can do different colors along the back. Yeah, some people draw dots along the side. Or yeah, you can make it look like a rainbow yeah, or dots salmon. Side or, and yeah, it just depends on what you're using it for. What's around. You can turn this into a little perch. Whatever. You know, if you're back in Ontario or whatnot. Yeah, you could make it Put colored. some stripes yeah, on it. You got Make it pretty. Customize it to uh, your location. That looks pretty damn sexy there. But uh, so that's an unexploded uh, minnow pattern. That's how you work with your mylar. Pretty easy stuff. We'll yeah. take it upstairs, sign it out. And I think I'm going to go fishing for the evening. Sounds good. That's something I do a whole lot. <laughs> nice so, back at you. That's all. I'm Boulder. Thanks for uh, watching us on Friday Night Flies. And uh, always give the boys a shout at uh, Pemberton Fish Finder. They do talk trout, and they'll take you out and get you on some fish. Fishing's great, so get out there. Get some wet nets. Check us out on YouTube, FridayNightFlies.com, and as well as our new, we just been picked up by a new site, k4u.ca you can yeah. also find it's not picked up by them but um, we have a little little section where you can get thrown through to Pemberton Fish Finder information and all our videos through that site and it's uh, quite the nice looks like it, it's kind of new right and it looks like it's going to be quite the fishing BC fishing um, social media site hey, we're all over it right we're there's all a over whole it. bunch of, yeah 
And so, uh, if, you, if you like fishing pictures and you like seeing big fish, check out our fishing reports on PermanentFishFinder.com. Pretty straightforward stuff. You'll like it. If you like fishing, you'll like it. So check it out. Anyhow, Scotty, we're signing out. Sean Mooney, thanks for joining us. This thanks evening. for joining us again, Sean. We're on our way out. It's dinner time, and the fish are calling. <laughs> so we're going to run. Good night. Night, guys.